Hi, this is Eric O'Dell with Continuous Testing Live, and we're broadcasting live here at AWS reInvent at the CA Technologies booth, where we're going to help you become a DevOps rockstar. I'm here with Dan Arad from Blaze Meter. Dan, how are you doing, and how's the show going for you? Pretty good. Fine. Pretty good? All right, so you're, hearing, you're talking to a lot of people today about their performance challenges. What are you hearing from people? Well, you know, people are, I think, looking to upscale their performance testing and testing in general. Uh, want to test fast, want to be able to um, you know, increase their velocity, their development velocity, become more agile, and looking for solutions that are going to help them do that. Okay, so tell me, how is the role of testing evolving in DevOps today? So I think over the last um, several years, uh, along with the agile revolution, et cetera, people are looking, as I said, to test faster, fail fast, move forward, and if previously, testing and performance testing specifically was somewhere later in the uh, development process owned by a specific team and you had to wait for them to be available to do the testing and it was a bottleneck. So I think what, what's happening, what we're seeing is more and more dev teams are looking to be independent and to run their tests independently. And so they're turning to open source solutions which they can uh, leverage independently and run fast and that's working out well for them. So we're, we're seeing an increase in use of open source software, which is great for that. You can just get up and running in minutes, right? And then what we're, what we're trying to do there is that when these teams need to scale up and grow, we allow them to uh, you know, um, uh, expand in the cloud and go and get into more sophisticated and advanced uh, uh, scenarios that they want to test, and we help them do that. So that's what we're seeing, yeah. Okay, now we're hearing a lot nowadays about shift left testing and also words like democratization. What does that really mean? That exactly falls into what I said. It's, it's, it's becoming, it's, it's allowing developers to become much more responsible and own the quality of their product versus it being owned by somebody else and then them having to rely on it. They can develop the code and they can test it and they can just deliver it in high quality and complete. The, what this requires is for them to be able to do that, to own that, and that's what democratizing testing is and shifting left is all about. All right, now if I'm a member of the testing COE, I might be a little leery about this, but how is the role of someone in the testing COE really evolving nowadays? Right, so that's, that's a good question. If, if, if previously you know, it was like um, center of excellence where I owned excellence, so now uh, we're, the way we're coining it is center of enablement. And we're enabling the entire dev team to become more proficient and professional in testing and be able to um, run them, test themselves, and understand what they're doing. So testing is democratized and owned by the entire dev, dev, dev team. It's not just this secluded. So you enable and you are the professional expert of performance and functional testing and how, how, and how to test because testing isn't trivial and you want to empower and educate the entire dev team on how to build those tests so they can go and run wild with their development. Okay, so a lot of folks that know about BlazeMeter, they know it for years as being this performance testing solution, great testing solution in the cloud. How is BlazeMeter evolving today? It's no longer just a performance testing solution anymore, is it? Well, no, we've expanded beyond. Obviously, we're, you know, it's our bread and butter is performance and load testing, but beyond that, we've expanded to functional testing, so you can leverage your existing tests and you can just uh, tie them to your CICD uh, process and it, to specific builds, so you can see that the business uh, scenarios, are you're not breaking them with every build, so that's just from a functional perspective, you can run those tests on us, and you know we have a Jenkins plugin, and everything is full API, so you can integrate with it. And beyond that, also from a holistic approach, not just, you know, you're, you're running a, a performance test or a load test, you want to see other aspects of it, like how, what are the end users um, uh, that are seeing the, the visuals, are seeing the front end, what are they experiencing doing a performance and a load test? So more like a front end Selenium test as well, so it's more of a holistic, complete approach to testing what's happening throughout um, uh, when, when the system is under test. All right, now, um, we've, we did talk about shift left testing, but there's also something about shifting right, right? And BlazeMeter has just announced an integration with CAAPM. Can you tell me about that integration? Yeah, so what that talks about is we've been integrated with the APMs from quite a few years now back, and what that provides is for you not you're seeing what happens from the testing perspective, what's what's happening, you know, if performance is degrading, et cetera, but 
when you're in professional testing, you want to see, okay, what's happening actually in the system under test, you know, to understand really where the bottlenecks and what do, what do I need to fix? You know, what is, you got to monitor the, the, the uh, performance of, you know, the CPU, the memory, you want to see. And so what we do with CAPM, not only do we bring the metrics back in so you get one view, you don't need to go and chase the IT people for, I need to monitor this specific device or that device. That seamlessly happens. You see exactly the the um, components that are under test without having to do anything. So um, you're able to integrate these APMs seamlessly much, much quicker, find that bottleneck, and you're able to um, uh, do that at every stage of the CI CD when you're developing and also in production, uh, very low scale testing that you can see that everything up and running, KPIs are met, no breaches, and, and you're leveraging your test throughout that. Now, you've, I've also heard of an announcement that we're talking about Blaze Meter's new private cloud feature. And this is for all those organizations that are concerned, have security concerns, or they have concerns with exposing data you know, outside of their firewall. Tell me about this feature, and tell me who's this for. Well, primarily, like you said, organizations that are um, concerned about um, uh, data security, uh, not being, being constrained or you know, regulated, not having their data can't leave their own uh, private networks, but they want to leverage modern um, testing tools like the one BlazeMeter offers. And um, up until today, they weren't able to use it because BlazeMeter is primarily on the cloud, only on the cloud. And what we've come up today with a patent pending um, uh, solution which allows you to take advantage of both, both worlds. Uh, one, you keep the data that you care about, doesn't leave your premise, doesn't leave your firewall, but on the other hand, uh, you're using a SaaS tool that's modern, you stay up to date with the latest software version, you don't have to wait six months or a year for every new version, have it installed. We release every two weeks and sometimes even more often than that. And what we're offering here is being able to stay on the most up-to-date version of the software, like I said, a SaaS offering, but maintain uh, the security and keep the data that you want to keep on-premise, on-premise. Dan, thank you very much. And again, this is Eric O'Dell with Continuous Testing Live with my friend Dan Arad from BlazeMeter. And if you want to learn more about BlazeMeter's APM integration features or the private cloud features that Dan was talking about, go to blazemeter.com. And we'll see you next time.